<sighs> yes, yes. Ugh, it's not even daytime. Can't the doggies get the door? Ugh. I'm coming, I'm coming. Just give me like five minutes to get out of bed. All right, all right, I'm coming. Jeez, all right. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and get out of bed. Let's go ahead and just... There we go. Seriously, I should train you dogs to open the door at night. It's... It, it's night. I'm just waking up. Oh my gosh. I just realized it's nighttime. Wow. Who, who could be at the door this... What? Gareth! Wait, what's going on? Lord Afma, come quick. What's wrong? It's Kiki. We saw a strange light from her barn in the guard tower and headed there. She was lying in, in bed in pain and the pendant was breaking. We need to go now, Afma. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Kiki? Kiki, are you okay? I just... Oh... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Kiki, is this... Oh, oh Fmau, isn't she beautiful? Kiki, she's precious! <laughs> Thank you. Now I'm just stuck thinking of a name for her. <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure something out, Kiki. I... I think I want to name her Leona. It means lion. I want her to be strong when she gets older. Aww. Oh, with you as her mother, I'm sh yeah. With you as her mother, I'm sure she'll be strong. <laughs> Thanks. Now I just want to spend some time alone with my little angel. Would you mind giving us a moment? <laughs> I want to see more of her, but of course, I'm more than happy to give you guys your privacy. Thank you. I'm so happy right now. Oh, I would be too. She's so cute. She's all swaddled up in a little blanket. Oh, she's so tiny. And I, oh, she's sound asleep. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna give you some time alone with your new little baby, Kiki. But oh my gosh, she's adorable. Wait, so the pendant is gone? I'm, I'm sorry, Kiki. I just want to take a quick look. Oh, I, I guess it is gone. All right. Well then, um, let's go ahead and uh, put that right there. Um, oh, is that the pendant? Or the leftover pendant or what's left of it? Lord Athmau, we're discussing what to do with the remains of the pendant. Dante has confirmed it is the pendant of the Zonoralian tribe that existed long ago. I've known this actually. Um, the wolf, uh, Boldoff's wife, Kiara, told me a long time ago, actually. She did. Then is this pendant dangerous? Uh, she didn't know and honestly, I'm not sure either. Hmm. Then we will let Dante be the keeper of it until we know exactly what it does. Aside from creating babies, of course. Now let's get some rest. It's been an eventful night. <laughs> it... It really has been an eventful night. Dante so quickly asked for that pendant. I wonder if he knows more than just its name. Uh, I, I don't... I don't know, Lawrence. I, <laughs> Even though this pendant just delivered Kiki's daughter, I'm getting a weird feeling from it. Maybe it's because all the power has been taken from it? I'm not sure. I don't know, but if that's what you guys think and we should just try to keep it safe, then yeah. Um, Dante, I trust you to keep that pendant safe. Alright, um, you guys just keep an eye on Kiki. I'm gonna go back and get some rest because I know tomorrow morning will probably be incredibly eventful and, um, people will be wanting to see Kiki's baby and all that other crazy stuff, so, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just head on back to bed because... Oh my gosh, wow. That's... Her baby's so cute. <laughs> okay, okay, enough of that. Let's just get back to, back to my room and go to bed. <sighs> oh my gosh, okay. It's time to get up. It's morning, bright and early, and... Yeah. Thanks for nothing, dogs, for answering the door last night. Ugh. Anyway. Um, let's go ahead and go get some breakfast or something. <sighs> Wait a minute. Who's knocking at the door now? Wait, Caitlin? You weren't even close to the door. I... Never mind. <sighs> Hello, Lady Caitlin. How are you this morning? Lady Afmau, good morning. 
Might I have a word with you? Yeah, sure. Um, do you just want to have a word in private? No need. The only ones here are people who already know too much. Last night, I witnessed a light shooting out of the barn home here in town. Tell me, was that a Zonarelian pendant? Wait, how do you know that? Uh... Oh. <laughs> Why do you care? Well, it's been many, many years since Zonarelian pendant was last seen. Before I was even alive, to be exact. It's incredibly rare to see one active in this day and age. I was wondering if I could see it? Um... Uh... <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but... I have a really hard time trusting you. Especially because you're from Wakasis. I just... I'm sorry. Fair enough. However, if you do have that pendant, be careful of whom you do trust it with. Fragments of power can change people. Well, with that, I'll be on my way. A good day to you, milady. And a good day to you, um, Lady Caitlin. I don't know about you guys, but Lady Caitlin really does give me, like, the heebie-jeebies, and I don't know why, just... Something about her is just a little off to me. Um... But she seems so trustworthy. I, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. I really should go tell Gareth exactly what happened with her because I remember Lawrence was patrolling her yesterday and she hasn't come out. And now why is she coming out to come talk to me? It just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, um, yeah, I need to go tell Gareth. Uh, let me go see. Uh, Dale isn't here. Interesting. Uh, Gareth! Gareth, are you up here? Hello? Lawrence? Uh, where's Gareth? Uh, never mind. Afmau, you look panicked. Did something happen? <sighs> I, I don't know why I would lie to you. I'm just gonna tell you about Caitlin and her questioning. She... She questioned you about the pendant remains. You look surprised about that. <laughs> I am. She was here asking about the pendant and the events of last night just this morning. Wait, have I been sleeping in? She... she was here? Yes. She had stopped by. For what reason, I'm not sure. I think she wanted to see if we used the armor she gave us. Gareth paid her in the diamonds for the armor, even though Dale wasn't too happy about that. In any case, it was weird just having her here. It's like the enemy is right inside our walls, that we haven't even built, mind you. Uh... Is she really our enemy? It's dangerous to label her as an enemy, because at the moment, wait, because the moment we do, she will become one. Don't tell anyone I said that, especially the villagers. I just feel like she's up to no good. The fact that she's from Ocasus doesn't help either. Just, there's a good saying that guards follow. Don't label someone your enemy unless you're ready to fight them. It's a good saying to live by, and quite frankly, we are in no condition to take on whatever army she has aboard her ship. Let's just do her qu- let- just let her do her questioning, but keep your answers vague. Uh, d Lawrence, do you really think we have to fight her? I don't know, Lord Afmau. I wish we never had to. In any case, leave the peace as it is. I'm just rambling. Sorry to scare you if I did. I'm just overthinking things. Go see Gareth. He's in the town square talking business with that traveling merchant you helped yesterday. Dante is there as well. See you later, milady. Okay, yeah, um, I, I, I can go see Gareth, um, in the town square. Uh, that's not a problem. But still, I just, <sighs> I, I, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm not the only one that gets that weird feeling from Caitlyn. It's just, I don't know, something about her is just kind of, eh, off. I, I don't know, she seems nice enough because she gave us that armor, but... What if she's just trying to prepare us for something? No, 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 I can't think like that. Again, Lauren said not to label her an enemy because if we do, then things get a little crazy. And yeah, we don't want that to happen. Um, ah, Gareth. Oh, wait. No, actually, I want to go see Kiki. I want to go see and make sure that she's doing okay because last night, and I, I can go see Gareth anytime. I'm sure Gareth is busy right now, but I just, I, I just really want an excuse to go see Kiki. That's all I want to do. <laughs> Oh, there's a goat. Hello, goat. Why are you outside of your pen? Maybe I should help with that. 
There we go. Yeah, Kiki is gonna need some help with these animals, especially if she has a baby. So maybe I'll stop by here every now and then and just try to make this place a little bit nicer. Oh, hello, snail. Oh, you're hidden from me. Hiding, hidden, hiding. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Um, let's go up here. Kiki! Are... Wow. Uh, she's got a lot of visitors, it looks like. Yeah, geez. Uh, hey, how are you guys doing? Oh, tiny baby, cute. Is that how you say cute? That's cute. That's adorable. Baby-like burrito is delicious, very loud. <laughs> I don't understand what you're even saying, Kyle. That is... What? I don't... <laughs> Oh, the baby's so cute, they're so tiny. Um, ah, Kawaii Chan loves babies. They're so kawaii. Um, oh, that, uh, Kawaii Chan, I'm trying to talk to Lucinda. Give me a second. Uh, get, hold on. Jeez. Um, hey, F Mao, my power has returned. Well, not in full force, mind you, but enough where I can actually walk around and stuff. Anyway, isn't the baby cute? Aw, yeah, the baby is so cute. Let's see. Oh, I miss when Kyle was that small, but he's still my baby even though he's older. Aww. Let's see. Oh, babies! We have to get Zoe to have another baby shower for Kiki. Yeah, we actually do! We actually gotta put that together because now we have like a lot more ladies in town and that will be fun. That will be really fun. Are you still sleeping? She's sound asleep still. Aww. Let's see. Afmal, Leona is just so active. I love her so much. Are we thinking of the same Leona? Because she's just like sound asleep like she was last night. Anyway, anyway, no, I, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say anything because it's just adorable and Kiki's just so happy to be a mother and that is exciting. I am so happy for her. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go ahead and head down because I feel like she's got a lot of company over and I don't want to <laughs> overcrowd her even though for me it seems like she's overcrowded, but whatever. Um, okay, let's get going to the, oh, wait a second. Yeah, I gotta leave those tossed cats here. That's right. I forgot about that. Um, all right, so you tossed cats. Here's one tossed cat. Here's another tossed cat. Here's another tossed cat. Um, let's put these lassos over here so that we have some empty lassos to work with later. Um, here's another tossed cat. Another tossed cat. You tossed cats have fun here. This is a great place for you guys, okay? Alright, you guys stay there. And, and especially because you're gonna have like an adorable little baby to, to play with and, and things like that. So, yeah, you guys stay there and Kiki will take amazing care of you guys. Don't worry, she has enough love for everyone. She's got so many animals, it's crazy! <sighs> okay, alright, let's head to the plaza. And go talk to Gareth and just tell him about Caitlyn and that she's interested in the pendant and that Dante needs to hide that pendant even better than what he already is because if he's carrying it around I swear he, he shouldn't be doing that um all right so let's see we go this way to the plaza area there we go um oh Donna oh shoot I forgot about the the crazy cat lady that's how could I forget I just dropped off the cats oh whatever all right Donna hey oh my mother decided to leave town I'm actually quite thankful she's out of our hair I love her don't get me wrong, but she complains. A lot. Yeah, I know. She also gets upset when anyone mentions, like, a dog or something like that. And, oh, yeah, Pelogan, they're so cute. Get that right, they're so cute. Um, let's see. Uh, this wolf kid. I swear he's got too many questions. Though he's annoying, I'm really happy to have him here with Donna and I. Aww. Stop it with the feels. It's... Oh, am I supposed to howl at the moon? If so, is it only when the full moon or half moon or is it even... Not there. Is it like blackout? Am I a real werewolf if I howl at the moon when the moon is not there? What if I just feel like howling during the day or- Oh, wow, Logan, you've got your hands full there. I'm- I'm not even gonna- No, I'm not even gonna touch that. Uh, yeah, you do your thing. Uh, Garth! Garth, hey! Uh, oh, he's talking to the merchant. Interesting. Um, excuse me one moment, sir. He turns to you. Good morning, Lord Afmao. I do apologize, but at the moment I'm in the discussion with this merchant right now on the exchange of materials for the wall. Is there something you wanted to discuss with me? Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about Caitlin and her questioning and stuff. I see. Hmm. Well, I have a lot to say on the issue, but right now, let's keep that as something we talk about in private. Let me finish up this discussion and we can talk more about that issue later tonight. My apologies, my lord. Alright, yeah. Um, we can talk about it later. I completely understand you not wanting to talk about it in front of someone who's new to town, so... Hello! Oh, I did not know that the beautiful young lady who helped me was the lord of this village. It's quite admirable that you are a lord who is active in her people's affairs. It's rare to find a lord like that, though I'm pretty sure there are others. In any case, allow me to introduce myself. 
I'm Oliver. I travel from village to village. Been doing it my entire life. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Oliver. The found merchant now. <laughs> it's great to meet you. Uh, Dante, I need to talk to you about... Afmal, I'm helping Oliver here build a merchant booth. But I had already built merchant booths here. He knows. But apparently he wants his booth built out of a different material. I don't know. I'm just helping him because he whispers. He's old. He's old? In any case, it's he is really interested in fairy lights. Do you know where I could get a few more from? Uh, yeah! Actually, yeah, now that I, I, I look at it, Zoe, Zoe makes them. Great! Could you take me to her so I can get a few? I'd love to give them to Oliver as a welcome gift. If he plans to stay here, I, that is again, he whispers, He's old! <laughs> Sure, yeah. Um, you, if you follow me, I'll take you to Zoe. So we can go. Just, uh, just keep up with me if you're gonna come. And are you coming? Yeah, you're, you're, you're coming over here. I would put away that hammer though, if, if you don't mind. Um, I mean, again, then you don't have to really. It's just, you know, I in the house and stuff like that. But yeah, Dante, I don't even know if you've actually introduced yourself formally. To yeah, there she is. It's a Zoe. Um, she's a. Uh, She's definitely, she's a very nice lady. She really is. She's been taking care of Levin for me since as long as I can remember. And speaking of Levin, I actually want to go check on Levin and Malachi, if you don't mind really quick, Dante. Um, let's see, Malachi. Oh, you guys are playing blocks. Hey, Mom, Zoe is getting some stuff to take to Kiki for her new baby. We're just playing blocks. Aw, there's a new baby, Mama? I want to see. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can go see the new baby in a little bit, but... I mean, if everybody's going there, oh my gosh, poor, poor, um, Kiki and being over, overwhelmed by all the new people coming into her, her place. Uh, Dante, are you following me? Dante, where'd you go? Are you here? Or did you get stuck somewhere? Where'd you go? Are you here? Did you come in the room with the kids? I don't even know where you are, Dante. What are you doing? Oh, there you are. All right, fine. Come on. Uh, come inside. Here, let me help you out a little bit there. There we go. Yeah, you're, you're good. You're good. All right, so follow me, and we're going to go see Zoe. Um, she's in her room right now, and we can get some fairy lights from her. I'm pretty sure that she has a bunch made. Uh, Zoe. Oh, ah, Afmao. I was just getting some things to take to Kiki's. Is something the matter? Uh, no, actually. Let me introduce you to Dante. He is helping a merchant in town build a merchant booth even though i've already made one and he's looking for fairy lights so i figured that i would be able to help you and dante get together so you could sell him some <gasps> what is that where did it come from